are the brand new Travis Scott Air Jordan 1s worth $1,000. And this week, I will be trying to turn a single penny into the $1,000 I need to buy these shoes. But let me tell you why. I've been a sneakerhead for years and have been blessed enough to buy whatever sneaker I want, whenever I want. But it wasn't always like this. You see, years ago when I started my YouTube channel, I was broke and had to purchase all of my clothing and shoes from thrift stores when I was in high school. I got made fun of for my cheap shoes and that scarred me for life. A few years later, I married the love of my life, Bethany. She loves sneakers as well. But now that we can afford any sneaker in the world, she doesn't like to spend unnecessary money on things we don't need. I haven't bought her a new pair of sneakers in over a year and I ruined a bunch of her shoes during a video shoot a while back. The other day we went to Texas Shoe Exchange and they had the Travis Scotts. I uh, would love these. My wife's face lit up when she saw them because she's been excited for these to release for months. I felt really compelled to just buy them for her and spend the $1,000, but she didn't want me to spend all of that money on a single pair of shoes. So today, I will be trying to earn all of that money using only this single penny. At first, I thought about all the ways I could do that, starting off with going to public areas and trading my way up from a penny to knickknacks until I get the $1,000. But that would take forever, and these sneakers are gonna be sold out by the time I accomplish that goal. The next idea was trying to buy and resell things, but no one would just accept a single penny for anything worth of value. After about an hour of thinking and thinking, I got on Facebook, and to my surprise, I saw something that changed the entire direction of the series. I completely forgot that sometimes Times on Facebook Marketplace, people would try to get rid of their old junk by listing it for absolutely free as long as you go and pick it up. This guy had a whole box of junk he was getting rid of, so I messaged him right away. He said a few people had come by and took most of the best items, but I was welcome to come look for myself. He said he needed all of the items gone ASAP and told me I could just take the rest of the items on the listing. So we drove across town into the countryside to his house. Okay, so I think the house is somewhere near here. The guy said it was on this street right here, so it should be close by. So I think this is it right here. Super nervous, like I don't even know what to like say or anything. I guess I just have to be like nice and stuff. Let me just, uh, I texted him that we were like five minutes away, so hopefully. What if he's me? Hey, how's it going? Hey. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Should we just come in? Yeah. Okay. He was extremely friendly and said that he was moving to Germany to reunite with an old girlfriend he met in college. So we looked through the box. I found all sorts of crazy random items I could easily flip. A Yankees collectible, a brand new pull-up bar he never used, and even a piñata. At this point, I was at least making $100 just from flipping his old junk. So we went home and looked up the value of each item. I took pictures of each item and made their own post on Facebook, then went to bed. The next morning, I had tons of notifications from people who were interested in a couple of the items. Most people were lowballing, but I had a few great offers, so I left to meet with the first person. Okay, so we're here at a hotel. This guy's uh, interested in the Yankee helmet. Super excited to sell it. Looking to make a quick 25 bucks, so we'll see what happens. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> that was an accident. I hope you didn't see that. Uh -oh. Oh. Hey, Will. Hey, how's it going, man? Tim, nice to meet yeah, you, man. Right? Good, good. So uh, here's the Yankee, the Yankee helmet that we talked about on Facebook. Comes with a display stand, all that things. Uh, it's brand new condition, no flaws on the helmet at all. It's never actually been opened, so there's tape on the bottom that's still, you know. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm just asking for like a quick twenty-five dollars, and should be a cool, quick transaction. Yeah, uh, helmet looks good. It's got some dents on the box and whatnot. Right. Yeah, it's just the box. I mean, I wasn't sure if that was going to be too much of an issue. I know, like a lot of times, collectors are super like pristine about the way they like their you know items to be but yeah the helmet itself is not damaged though so i don't know if you were going to display it or unbox it i sorry about the box dude I, i'm good. and that's why i was charging actually a little lower because i actually went on ebay to price the items and these things were going for like 40 dollars right so i was like i'll just let somebody have it for a quick 25. okay uh because the box you want to do 20 or kind of took like gas to get all the way over that's here cool. and you're staying at the hotel is kind of out of the way if you just 25 for the helmet, that'd be great. Alright. You good with it? Yeah, sounds good. Sweet, this is 25. That's it. Cool. Good stuff. Will, thanks so much for coming out, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Have a good uh, trip. I guess you're visiting here, right? Or... Yeah, yeah, I'm from New York. So, oh, you're from yeah. New York? A little taste of home here in San Antonio. Dude, that's awesome, man. Well, congrats on the helmet. I hope you enjoy that back home. Thanks, man. Have a good one. And just like that, boys, 
we made our first money of the day, $25 from nothing. You have no excuse to not make money. Let's keep stacking up that cash. We're finally gonna sell our big money item. We got the light bulb right here that somebody's interested in. So let's go make some fat cash today, right now. Yes, ma'am, I have the brand new multicolor smart bulb. We are coming down the escalator right now. You said you're down here? Okay, perfect, okay. Oh, I see you, I see you, okay. Bye. About to make the most money we have. This is probably like the best thing we got in the whole thing because this is going to be worth a lot of money. Hi, how's it going? Hi. Hi, how's it? Hey, I'm Jess. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. So we have the light bulb right here. Okay. Um, as you can see, it's in brand new condition as we described. The sticker hasn't been tampered with. It's brand new like from Best Buy. And so I'm just looking for 50. Um, I know that these go on sale for a lot more. So yeah. here you go if you want to check it out. Uh, yeah, I do. And 50 is at the best price. Like 50 is the best price we can do only because I saw that brand new they're going for like 90. So if I try this out, it's going to work, right? I believe so. I mean, honestly, it's never been opened. Okay. So at that point, it would probably be like a manufacturer error type of thing. So if I try it out and if it doesn't work, um, what can we do about that? If you try it out and it really doesn't work and you really want your money back, I, I mean, I guess I'll just meet up with you and give you the money back, but I'm pretty confident that it's going to work and you shouldn't have any problems with it. Okay, um, so you sure you can't do less than 50? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's just like, that's honestly almost half the price for it that we originally wanted. So if you can, we can do 50, that'd be great. Um, okay, I think we can do 50. We can do 50? Yeah. Okay, thank you so yeah. much. I appreciate it. Let me just count it real quick. Okay, perfect. Everything looks good. Great. Well, thank you so much for coming. We appreciate awesome. it. Thank you. Have a good one. You Enjoy too. the bulb. Thank you. We just made a clean $50 right there from that light bulb. Let's keep hustling. Let's keep grinding. Okay, so we got the book. Selling the book. This girl is like 20 minutes late. I don't know where she's at. It's been forever. I hope she comes. It's just $5. Literally, I'm just here for $5. But, I mean, I hope she gets it. It says that the retail is $7. So. How's hey, it going? Hey, nice to meet up? you. Thank you so much for coming out. Yeah. Um, so... Have book. You're a little bit late though. I was expecting you to be here a little earlier. We've been waiting for a while. I was scared you weren't going to come, honestly. Well, a wizard is never late, right? Okay, yeah. I mean, I guess. I guess so. Okay, well, here's the book. So you're a Lord of the Rings fan or? Yes, sir. I got a collection. I got to share with my friends. Yeah, yeah. And this is how to do it. No, 100%. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, we're just asking like $5 for the book if that's cool. Yeah, it has a pretty good condition. Yeah, I think it's in really good condition too. Oh, you smell books? Yeah. Is that like, is that like a... I Actually, is yeah, it good? Does it smell good? You want, me to, you, want me to, you want me to smell the book right now? You want me to just smell it? Yeah. Have you, have you never done that? No. It actually smells really good. I think I might start snorting books. That's honestly <laughs> great. So cool. Okay. I really well, I mean, I really, hate, I really hate to let go of this one, but yeah, I, I just, I, 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 I've had so many memories with this book, you know. So I just, it's a really great. One, so. I mean, I will cherish it. I will love it. Make sure it's a good home. Thank you so much for waiting for me. You're not going to ruin the book, right? You're not going to tear the pages or anything? No doggy ears. No? Um, yeah, I've got one already with the pencil marks. Okay, okay. I hope that you don't do that to that one. It needs a good home, so. For sure. So is it going to pay? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for coming out. Good. Nice to meet you. Have a good one. Enjoy that book. Hope it's good. All right, you guys. Just wasted 45 minutes waiting for that girl for this five dollars. We got a buyer. I'm really surprised that somebody wanted this, but we got a buyer for the Batman Joker pop that we're meeting up here. I don't know how much we're gonna make. I mean, I honestly said like ten dollars, so we'll see if we make a quick buck or two. We should be here any second. Yo. Oh, what's, what's up, up, bro? Oh, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Are you here for the Batman pop? Yeah, man. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. So here it is, dude. If you want to check it out, it's a little bit worn. I mean, the condition of it is kind of like a little used, but yeah, it's still cool, though. I mean, if you're interested, in, I see you got another yeah. pop. You're probably like a pop collector, so yeah, man. No box, unfortunately. I know they're like the box is really pristine, but no, yeah, it's all good. Yeah, that's exactly what I was looking for, but dude, I know I said I was gonna buy it for you, man, but uh -huh. uh, I'm a little low on cash. Do you think that we're gonna make money from it or do you think we're gonna lose out? We 
if I sell this, will I make more than ten dollars? I think you will because you have a box and the other one doesn't have a box on it, so it's still something. And it's Spider Man. I mean, we already came out here. Should I look it up real quick? Yeah, look it up. Oh, shoot. We got to take it out. Nah, you got to take it, today. bro. This one's twenty-four. I don't know. I don't really know too much about pops, but like, if we can manage to make like more than we asked, I'm kind of down. Should we take the risk? Should we just I do it? I think we should do it. Like right now the video if you think we should do it, but subscribe right now if you think we shouldn't. At the end of the day, we're trying to just make an entertaining video, an entertaining vlog, so like, I got you. do you know how much the value is on this by any chance? 15, 20 bucks. Yeah, but obviously the price has escalated and, I mean, let's do it, bro. Let's do it. It's yeah, not man. always about the money, so yeah. hopefully we can like, look yeah, at you. Yeah, I appreciate it. it. Yeah, 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 enjoy that pot, man. And yeah, yeah. Trust me, it's going to get home. Yeah, yeah, man. Have a good one. Nice to meet you. I really, really hope that we did not just get scouted. I really hope we didn't get scammed. What if this were like five bucks? He didn't even tell me. He's a pop collector, he doesn't know. Okay, so we just traded the kid for the pop right here, and I'm gonna give you all a little challenge, bro. We're gonna go into stock room right here at this store in River Center Mall, and however much money, Joel, you make above $15, I'm gonna let you keep for free. So I want you to negotiate the store owner to give you more than $15, and whatever money you make is yours to keep above $15. All I want is $15 for that. Use your negotiation tactics. But while Joel is doing this challenge, let me tell you guys about our sponsor. Coofandy.com has quickly become one of my favorite places to shop because even though I'm a hype beast and I love sneakers, dressing in Coofandy will make you feel like a gentleman. Dirty's working today, Dirty's working today. I need your help, I need your help. Anything on their website will instantly make you more attractive to the ladies, especially since summertime is coming up. Spider-Man Morales, you know, awesome character. Uh, I'm asking $40. Can you buy this off of me right now? You ask me for dollars no, no, yes, $40. For example, this tank top that I've been wearing for the whole video comes in a pack of three and will look amazing this summer at the beach, the pool, or even just hanging with your friends playing sports. But maybe this summer you're gonna want a night out with that special someone. Please, like Miles Morales, it will look nice on shoes, whatever, just play. What does he have, Jordan? He has Jordan ones, right? These long sleeves are very classy and trendy and will boost your confidence all night long. Where's Jordan? Where's this one right here? I'm just gonna get some look, Austin Fountains. Okay, so he has lost some pounds right here. Right now, my favorite piece from this website is this two-piece matching set that is super stylish, comfortable, and cool for those summer days or nights. Miles Morales wears the Air Jordan 1s. You can sell this as a bundle, $40. That's all I'm asking. I gotta sell it for 40 I gotta give you half, maybe like 20, 25. It comes in many more styles and colors, and there's so many more variations and different pieces to look at on the website right now. Kids love it, you know. Kids will think you're cool instead of an old man, so 48 at least, come on. Mm. Coofandy.com is already extremely affordable, but for even more of a steal, use my code TIM05 for 30% on the website. Link in the description right now. 25 and I'm an old man one. But see, I'm telling you, kids, Lost and Founds, Miles Morales, Air Jordan ones, they'll buy this off of you real quick. Go check out their clothing and their selection of amazing styles of shirts, pants, shorts, and hoodies, and match everything and make the perfect outfit. All right, I'll give you three. $30. Woo! Good deal, good deal. Good deal. Yes, sir, I'm rich. Hey, I need 15 of that. Jesse, how's it going, man? Hey, yeah, good to meet you, man, good to meet you. So we got the uh, the chin -up bar right here for you, man. Sure, bro. So you're getting into like working out or? Uh, Yeah, man, I'm trying to get into work out, something for the house. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Easy. So I got this from a friend, and basically it came in the box, brand new, dude, and pretty easy to put together. The instructions should be inside. We're only asking for $25, because I, I looked online how much they're worth, and yeah. I saw them going on eBay for like 25. So really, really good condition, though, dude. Um, if you wanna if you wanna buy it, let's, let's make it happen. Let's do it. Hopefully your door handle doesn't snap off. <laughs> Here you go, man. Appreciate you coming out, dude. Thank you so much, man. All right, boys. So after Joel paid me the $15 in total, I made $120 from reselling that guy's items that he did not want anymore. So I got a bright idea and I headed to a thrift store. Now back in the day, I used to buy sneakers for very cheap and then resell them for way more. So I had an idea. I walked in the thrift store as I began to search for some heat to flip and you'll never guess what I found. This was the most insane find of my entire life. We are gonna make so much money and we are gonna buy those Travis Scotts. Click right here if you guys wanna see part two. Yesterday we turned a single penny into $120. In today's episode, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna turn this $120 into more money. So I got the bright idea of going to thrift stores, buying people's used sneakers, cleaning them up a little bit, 
and then reselling them and making a profit. I haven't done this in a while, but let's go see if we can spend that $120 and make a profit here at the thrift store. So I actually think the shoes are over there. Let's see if they have anything good. I see some red heroes right here. There is no insole in there, so somebody's probably gonna pay less. And obviously with no backs, they're gonna pay less, but this they're letting them go for $30 which is kind of pricey I don't know if we can make more than 30 for these honestly got a couple more shoes over here looking through I don't know I don't know it's not looking too good so far there's some like fake Yeezys right here they're like a lot of Yeezys these aren't going for anything though for sure they're like some pirate blacks anything back here I don't see anything kind of look like some sort of Yeezy but they're not <laughs> So as this video goes on, I didn't tell you guys, but we're gonna start off at thrift stores for round one. Round two, if we can't find anything, we're gonna go to the upscale thrift stores, which is like Plato's Closet, Uptown Cheapskate. They normally have sneakers there, but they're more expensive. And then lastly, third, if we can't find anything, we're gonna start to hit up the pawn shops, but pawn shops tend to charge like $100. So if we get to that point, we'll just buy a pair of shoes for $100 and then try to flip it for like 200 or something. Yeah, no, I'm not seeing any heat at all. This is the last row. We got some LeBrons. We got some LeBrons in here. I don't know if anybody would buy these though. These are dope too, but it's like, it also depends on like a matter of like how, how quick can I sell this, right? Like, I don't know anybody that's gonna want these. If we find a retro Air Jordan, that is something that we can flip like that. And speaking of retro Air Jordans, I just came across the corner. It looks like these are Jordan 3s, but they're just like a Team Jordan. So no luck here. But if we found a Jordan 3 in this condition, I'm pretty sure we could restore it to its health and sell it for like $100. So no luck at the first thrift store. It only took me like five minutes in and out. Um, those LeBrons would have been really good, but online they're only going for this much. So I think we should try another thrift store and let's try to see if we can find something better. Second thrift store of the day. It says they got clothes, furniture, electronics, low prices. I've never been to this one before, but let's see what they got inside. Your boy's ready to make that money, baby. Okay, hopefully this isn't one of those like super expensive thrift stores because sometimes they like to really, really upcharge on the clothing. Nice, walking right in. Got a couple of sneakers in here. This is dope. Man, they got a lot of sneakers in here. I'm on the lookout though. What are these right here? Some Nikes. These are pretty, these are pretty deep, but I mean, I'm pretty sure we can clean them up a little bit. These are $64, that's pretty expensive for a thrift store. I think this might be like a Plato's closet, I don't know. Coming around, let's see if they got anything else. Any other shoes, they got some Nike SBs right here. Some Adidas with Boost in it. I think these are, are these a special collaboration or special edition? I don't know if I'd be able to sell these anyways. We'll see. They got like other kids shoes. There's like a lot of shoes here, but I think those are gonna be the best sneakers that we found. Some like shocks for 25. Yeah, guys, I don't know. It's it's pretty, it's pretty pricey here. I'm not gonna lie. I was expecting to come to a thrift store and buy like, what are these? $40, $40. I was expecting to come to the thrift stores and buy like four or five pairs of shoes and restore them for this video, but if they're gonna be like this, we might end up only buying one. Just stumbled upon this Air Force One. This could be a great flip right here. This one's only $17. We could restore this, buy some laces from, clean them up maybe. I mean, they are pretty clean. It looks like somebody did clean these up already, so I don't know. I mean, these easily go for $100 retail. We could probably sell them to somebody for like $50 or a size eight. This might be a good option. Might be a good option. The problem is, is that if I spend $17, that puts me at only $103. And if we find some shoes that are really, really good for $120 later, it might, we might not be able to buy them. What in the world are these? $25? I've never seen these before. Looks like recycled shoe, like a recycled Air Force One. All right, you guys, it looks like they got a lot of shoes back here. Looks like there's some Jordan 11s right there. $70. That's not bad at all. These are sick. Good condition too. A little cleanup. I like the bottoms. I've never seen these before. Before I leave, I just found the craziest thing ever. This right here? Is this a Tesla quad? Is this a Tesla quad, bro? I mean, it doesn't say Tesla on it. Isn't this the one that came with the truck? We're in Austin. Is this the one that Elon Musk showcased? $500? Bro, I would buy this right now. I would buy this right now. Yo, it actually works. Bro, I just looked up these things. They go for like $5,000. That Tesla quad would have totally been an amazing resale asset. Like, 
to resell. They were only asking $500 and I saw them online selling for $4,000. The only thing we need is a charger. If we can find a charger online or something and we make the money up to that point, we'll buy the Tesla Quad and make a lot of money from it, way more than we originally started in this series. But uh, for now, we have $100. So let's keep searching for things. All right, guys, time for round two. We are gonna be hitting up the Plato's Closet and if this doesn't have anything, we're going to Uptown Cheapskate. They're gonna have nicer shoes in here, more heat guaranteed, but it's gonna be coming at a pricier cost. Like I said though, Plato's Closet doesn't clean their shoes usually. They typically just buy it from people and then they put it on the shelf. So we see a dirty pair of shoes, we can easily clean it up and sell it for way more. All right, so we got some shoes in here. I got some Adidas boosts, all gold. These ones are gonna be $55, not bad. We got NMDs, more shoes up there that are too high for me to reach. I don't really see anything too crazy. Some Air Jordan 6s over here, pretty cool, $200. Air Jordan 1's in here, 375. Got some Cardi B's in here. Happy Air Max Day, Air Maxes. Haven't seen these in a while. So just got out of Plato's closet. I'm not gonna lie, there was no way that we are gonna be able to resell anything in the store for more than it's worth in there. Honestly, like I feel like a lot of these stores have just gotten a lot smarter over the years and what used to be $2 at the thrift store is now $80 and same with Plato's Closet. I mean, there's no way I can buy a 200 pair of sixes or a $300 pair of Jordan 1s and flip them for more money. It's just not happening. Last stop for round two, we got Uptown Cheapskate. This is another store that is kind of more pricier in the range, but it's like almost guaranteed heat. They buy stuff from people, give them a little bit of cash and then resell it in their store. So what I'm gonna do is buy it from them and resell it. Some skate shoes right there, some Reebok pumps in red i think they got a bunch of new stuff since i last been here look at this adidas human races check that out 134 that's what i'm talking about guys it is brand new though looking for the sneakers polo not good for us these are dope but some b trues vapor flies won't be able to make a profit off these unless we meet a runner i know sneakers i don't really know running shoes i don't know the value of these so i might be missing out on a great offer but i'm gonna have to pass because my lack of knowledge some green air maxes over here you know $124 wow they even got the tag on it so nobody steals them these are that hype in here I guess got some vans we got some more sneakers some runners some weird Nikes some Hirachis and some more human race basketball sneakers for 134 Okay, so obviously I didn't want it to get to this point of going to pawn shops because the shoes are going to be way more expensive, but I think we need to change our perspective to buying one pair of shoes instead of a bunch of pair of shoes like we were going to buy earlier, but at a more expensive price. Back on the iPhone cam, let's see if we find anything good in here. Looks like there's some Jordans in here, some threes, some fives. The fives are $95, so it's not bad at all. Those threes are 140, a little bit above, but I might be able to negotiate to 200. We got out of the pawn shop right now. First initial thought was, I'm gonna get those core purples. They were 140, I'm gonna negotiate him down to 120 uh, or lower than 120 so I can pay the tax. But then I looked them up online and it looks like they're going for 175, not to mention I've seen them in the outlet before and that's brand new. So I don't know if I could potentially make like 200 i'm trying to make above 200 with my next purchase right now on to the next hopefully we find a better deal second pawn second pawn here we go great deals great deals there's a lot of sneakers in here 130 for these 11s 125 for those nicks fours 160 for the fives the yeezys for 110 okay okay got the Kyrie's, the happy air max days that we saw earlier today 150 for these bro they're gonna need to clean up for sure but for 150 it's not bad at all. If we give these a good cleaning, brought the blue out a lot, restored them a little bit, we could sell these for like 300 maybe. Came back to the car to grab the money, but yo, I gotta go with those. Hopefully she can give me them for 120 plus tax. I know it's a stretch, but I'm cash ready. I'm ready to buy it out now. And I looked at how much they were going for on StockX. These are going for $500 on StockX right now. So if we give them a good cleanup, we can make potentially a lot of money from these Jordan 4's University Blue. Let's go back inside, try to negotiate with her and get them for the price we need. I can actually get these right here. The 4's? What's the best price that you guys could do on these? 
So I went in there, asked her if she could do 120 total with tax. And uh, she said no. But uh, your boy used to smile to convince her to give me these for $120 with tax included. Walk out the door right now. They've been sitting there for a while. And so we got ourselves a pair of freaking, we hit the lotto with this guys. Let's go restore these boys and list them online for sale. Uh, I'm just uh, so I bought these shoes and I'm just cleaning them. I'm just restoring them I'm trying to do like a little project for the video oh. Okay. Since my wife just caught me I'm gonna let these boys dry out here and uh, While they're drying I'm gonna tell you guys about the true inspiration behind this video if you haven't watched the first episode So I absolutely love my wife and I rarely buy her sneakers But in the last episode I told you guys that we went to the shoe store the other day And she saw some Travis Scott Air Jordan ones that just released that she really really wanted extremely bad But she didn't want me to spend the money. She doesn't like to spend money on things we don't need so in this series, I've decided to surprise my loving wife who's helped me. She helps organize brand deals. She helps keep the house afloat. I love her with everything. I am gonna be raising the money, starting off with one penny and making it into the thousand dollars that we need to buy her the shoes. Right now, we are at zero dollars, but we have a pair of Jordan 4s that I believe are worth to be about $300. So I'm gonna post these, hopefully sell them, and keep going till I get my thousand dollars and surprise her with the shoes. And I did post them, and you'll never guess how much we are about to make from these shoes right now, okay? The guy agreed to meet for $350. So let's go meet up, sell these, and make ourselves some money. All right, guys, we're here. About to sell the fours. Let's see what happens. Arnold? Hey, what's up, man? Good to meet you. you Good doing? to meet you. The so these are the, uh, yeah, these are University Blue Fours. Check them out. You like them? Nice blue. The quality's there. The suede is on point. I mean, they're new. They're, new. they're not new, actually. I listed them as used. These are selling on StockX for like five fifty. So, $5. yeah, dude. So this is an actual, this is an absolute steal. They look pretty good. You said three hundred, right? Three fifty. I was asking for three fifty. Is that is that too much or? I mean, it's because three fifty is a steal right now because they're going for five fifty. I can show you the screenshots on Stock X. Look at that. That's more. That's at least twenty off. Yeah, it's been. That's at least twenty. And know, no box because that's true. I didn't have a box with them. Five fifty right here on Stock X. Five fifty. <laughs> or I could get them right now for three hundred cash. You have three hundred cash on you. I got three hundred. You have three fifty cash on you. I got three fifty. So you purposely only bought 300. But I got 300. All right, I mean, you got 300 right here, dude. I, you know, originally I wanted 300, but you wanna try them on or anything, or you're good? You wanna try them on? Oh yeah, yeah, try them on, try them on. No crease, no crease. No crease, super clean. I love them, they look dope. Hey, well thanks so much, Arnold, for coming, dude. I appreciate you, man. Enjoy those, dude, thank you. Have a good one, nice to meet you. All right, boys, and just like that, we got 300 dollars for the four from one penny to three hundred dollars let's keep flipping and wheeling and dealing and let's get to the thousand dollars for the travis scotts is it possible to trade a single penny into one thousand dollar sneakers this week we're doing that and we are now on day four the first day i went on facebook and got somebody's free items and i flipped them all and made a hundred and twenty dollars the second day i hit up all of the thrift stores plato's closets and pawn shops found some sneakers at a hundred and twenty dollars and flipped them for three hundred dollars Today, I have a genius idea. I'm going to be posting on Facebook Marketplace that we are willing to be giving people fast cash now in exchange for their sneakers. I got something. What? What? I have cut? shoes. No, I cut? We're going to have to edit this out. No, no, no. I, I, I have something for you. What are you talking about? I have shoes that you can have. That I can have for free? Well, not have, but like, maybe like 100 bucks each shoe. I have three of them. They're really good shoes, too. Let me go see your shoes first, and then if I like them, I'll buy your shoes. Okay, well, let, let's go. Red 11s for $100. This is the best deal of all time. You're crazy for doing that. $100 for the Red 11s. We got these threes. I don't even know the name of them, but they're in great condition, honestly. You are literally, dude, I'm going to show you that I'm going to make $100 off of each shoe today. We're walking away today with $300. Honestly, these are kind of beat, bro, but they're the Fire Red 4s. And you know what? I'll make you a bet, dude, because you don't believe that we can sell all these shoes yeah, today. Bro, I'm going to sell these within 12 hours before nighttime hits. And uh, if I don't, you can just keep the money for free and you can have the shoes. Deal. But if I do, you got to publicly apologize to me in front of all the fans. Very embarrassing. Oh, heck. Yeah, I'm going to make you do something very embarrassing. Red 11s. In, in a great condition, by the way, 
gently use Facebook, hit me up. Facebook group, I'm in every sneaker group, so we're gonna post these in a lot of groups. You guys know, sneaker heads, they love the box. Now these, we gotta, kinda, we gotta kinda portray these, I feel like in a poorer light, they come because I don't want them to see the condition. They can just easily clean it up, so. Yeah, good luck, buddy. All right, boys, we just listed the shoes. We're gonna wait for an offer, and then, Joel, your time is done, because I'm selling these today. You're done, bro. Honestly, bro, I could probably sell these for like three, 400 bucks if we had time. But because you gave me only one day to sell them, I'm gonna have to let these go for 200 bucks. Somebody's gonna be so excited that they're getting the bread for $200. I told you we're gonna make our money, bro. We're literally gonna I make our money today. Money Gary, I got your shoes right here for you, my man. All right, man. You got the money ready? Wait. He's asking for a clean 200, bro. It's a really good deal for wait, you. Wait, 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 wait. What's up? They're authentic, man. I already, got, I already legit checked them and everything. Yeah, 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 but these are size 12. And I'm a 13, man. Oh, you're a third. Yeah, this is not gonna work, man. I'm sorry. They're too small for me. Wait, but it was it was listed. Everything was listed fine. No, I'm a size 13, man. I'm sorry, it's not gonna work. Are you sure? You want positive. you don't want to try them on or anything? Nah, I'm positive. He's running man. bigger, bro. I'm a 13 double E, man. Those things are not gonna fit on me. 13 double. Okay. Yeah. Um, sorry, man. Sorry so for the no misunderstanding. Way, there's no way. I mean, we just we drove down here all the way, man. Are you sure you don't want to try them on real I'm quick? Positive, man. Sorry about it. Okay. Man. No, no. no. Uh, have a good one, I guess. Thank you. The listing, I listed them as a size 12. I don't understand why he would come down and like waste mm -hmm. our time like that, dude. That was just a big waste of time. Hey, Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Oh, thank you so much. Is that the one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll hold it, yeah, yeah. Let me count it real quick. Oh, these are dope. You like them? Like Red 11s? Hell yeah, yeah, look Super, at my honestly. Honestly, we're letting them go for a steal. There, I mean, there's a couple of scuff marks on them. They're a bit slightly used. Okay. But if you know, these are going on StockX and go for like four or five hundred dollars, yeah. brand new. So I think this is a steal. Honestly, we're just trying to make a quick two hundred dollars from. Um, okay, it's a okay. grail. Honestly, everything's legit. You can check out Carbon Fiber has all the. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, Everything's that. all legit that's and that. stuff. And they match my outfit. Yeah, yeah, they do match your outfit, like actually. That. The red and the black outfit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. All right, I'm What sold. do you think? You want them? Yeah. Okay, I'm good sold. deal. Sure. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Just like that, baby. Cold, hard cash. Well-deserved and well-earned. Joel, you're crazy, bro. You're literally crazy, bro. What? Okay, so we are back down here, and I'm about to try something, guys. I'm about to show Joel how easy it is to sell these shoes, because he doesn't believe me. I'm going to make him sell these Jordan 3s. I'm gonna make him sell them, not me, but him. Bro, I think that's her right there. She was telling me she wants to buy them for her husband. Honestly, bro, this is easy. I think you should do it. I think just go up to her. Don't be nervous, bro. You got this. Okay. You got. You wanna do it? I mean, are you down? More of a challenge on you. Bro, it's more of a challenge on me, but I'm telling you, it's so easy. Oh, she's, dude, she's like that. She's okay. looking at us. She's looking at us. Hey, how's it going, Tim? This is Joel. This is the one with the shoes. I'm, this, I'm the owner of the shoes, and he was talking to you on Facebook, actually. Right. I help him like sell the shoes and everything like that. Yeah. So, so these are very, very beautiful. These, you're, they're for your husband, right? Yes. Yes. He's actually coming okay. back from the army, so I wanted to surprise him with these. Yeah. He's oh. definitely gonna love these. Actually. He's an army guy. I think so yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no. So like, if you really want to check them out. Yeah. Tell her why she needs to buy these. You need to buy these because a you're husband would definitely like them because they will stand out right y'all were standing next to each other his shoes will like stand out more than yours no offense or anything like <laughs> right that. but they, they just pop so like a guy likes shoes that pop right and also they're gonna go with his army uniform as well yes yeah, that's what sure. i was gonna say too thank you so, like if he's in the desert and he's hiding from like the ops or whatever like yeah, he that's can, like, right that's gonna mix these, it with the sand he can wear these while he's in uniform I right think so they look really good yeah I i'll take them what do you think you have any objections or anything like that no they're no, perfect, like they're perfect I mean, right they're exactly what you know just be very careful with them because they're really expensive okay. yeah okay you have they're the money really so we'll go ahead and count it make sure she's not scared. oh before oh, sorry i can't let you walk off until he counts the money yeah, yeah. Let me, let go ahead and count the money, money real, quick. real quick 200. okay thank you perfect. so much thank Pleasure you doing business with you likewise hey. oh see it was literally yes, that easy sir. i told you dog i told you now look you could keep that whole thing if you sold them yourself but since you were like i can't sell them i just want a hundred dollars you owe a hundred dollars of that to me just for coming, literally, okay. just for coming, convince you to do it, bro. It's so easy, though. I tell you, we're gonna knock out this challenge easy. Yeah, I'm, we're right here, like against kind of like the brick wall. We're right in front of the witch witch sandwich. Okay. Yeah, oh, this. You. Oh, hi, hi. Yeah. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, thank you so much for coming of out, Lupe. Um, so these are the shoes right here. Okay. Uh, they're they're in pretty. I mean, they're pretty good. They're gently used, but it's a it's a classic Air Jordan. You said that you were buying them for... My son. Okay, yeah. okay. And they're gotcha. the perfect size, but you said they're gently used. Yeah, they are gently like. used. Okay. That's the only thing. 
you said you wanted 200 for this right 200 was kind of like what i was well, kind of i mean these aren't even washed and look i mean look at the i don't know so honestly like if you throw them in the washer like they'll be really really clean and they'll almost I, look brand new well i get that but then you lose the firmness you lose the floor right. of the shoe i mean they do sell I shoe cleaner see. out there it, I don't, it's not too hard i mean if you if you gently get like some soap and like some water like i think you can I really like the color. The size is perfect, but I don't know about all these little things that you see here. How about I offer you $40? I have $40 that for these shoes. Respectfully, these are selling online for like $300, $350. So $200 is like a really good price. I mean, there's an ATM around the corner if you want to go pull out more cash or I'll take cash out. Um, cash out, baby. I got 40 bucks. What do you think? Yeah, I don't think I don't think there's any way that we could do $40 for these. I mean, 40 I bucks is all I got or I'm walking away. You got my number if you want to call me back. I'm so sorry. I wouldn't All right. You Thank too. you. Good luck. Thank you. All right. That's a low ball. 40 bucks. 40 bucks is such a low ball. Are you kidding me right now? Bro, I told you, bro. That's, that Those are views are too much. But I know we can get 200 for these. I know no, we can. Bro, Somebody's going to want these. We're going to sell these, I'm telling you. Good luck, Second buddy. buyer of the day. Christina? Hi. Hi. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. These are the Jordans that I was talking about okay. um, right can here. The Jordan 4s. Yeah, yeah. Check them out. So really awesome pair of Jordans, um, classic. Can I smell it? Yeah, yeah you can <laughs> smell it, yeah. What do you think? I mean, they're a little bit used, but yeah, not too yes. bad. Yes, um, it looks different in the picture now. Oh, yeah, I mean. It looks a little bit stains and it looks um, too used. Too used? Too used. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, can you? I mean, it's two hundred is not a two hundred is not a bad price for them though. Like, I like it, but I'm not sure. Maybe not. Maybe not. Thank you very much. No worries. Thank, Thank you so much. Right. Thank you for coming. Yeah, Have a good day. Yeah. Told you, bro. I Second. told you. Bro. Okay, okay. We're gonna. Sell. I'm trying my best. Okay, we're gonna sell them. We got, we're gonna sell them. It's not that hard. All right, how much would you give me these for right here? Telling Joe what's smarter to sell them on Facebook, but he wants to see how much stockroom is going to give him for them first. Right now, we're not taking use pairs right now. <sighs> I mean, as a friend, the most I would be able to give you would probably be probably less than 50 bucks. I got oh, damn, less than 50, crazy. I told you. He's crazy. Bro, they got the freaking Travis, dude. The Travis, bro, that I'm trying to buy dude. for Beth. I'll give you all those and massage your feet for those. No, 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 that's the end goal. That's the end goal, bro. Oh, yeah, you $1,200. So if you guys don't know, the reason why we're doing this entire series is because we went from trading a single penny into the Air Jordan 1 Low Travis Scott Olives that just came out for Beth. We're trying to make it to $1,000 and keep making money so I can surprise my wife with these for free from a penny. For the third time, we're back downtown for somebody that claims they're gonna buy these, even though they're probably not gonna buy these. Dude, I'm just gonna try my best, dude. They look so bad. I know they're bad, but dude, where there's a will, there's a way. But for my subs that are watching right now at home, I'm going through all this, it's a hot day. I've been disrespected twice. Not once, but twice. I got this, bro. I have to. He's not gonna sell them, they're too used. Excuse me, Jorge? Yo, what's up, bro? Nice what's to meet up, you, Tim. Ford, How's it going, brother? Should we take a seat or? Yeah, for sure, for sure. All right, dude, so check these out. These are the Jordan 4s right here. All right, all right. Now, they are in gently used condition, okay? But they should be, you know, still great for you. Extremely comfortable sneaker. Um, you know, it has the, the red and the white, so they'll pretty much go with your t-shirt right now. I mean, what do you think, dude? Like, I mean, to be honest, man, they're a little B in the bottom. Yeah. But I'm a skater, and I really want to skate in them. They're my first pair. Oh, they're you're a... buying them to skate in them? Yeah, man. Uh, so I've never sold Jordans to anybody to be skating in. But really? I hear these are, to be honest, dude, I hear these are the best, like, skate shoes, especially because, like, they made the Jordan 4 SBs just for skaters because they love to skate in these shoes. Yeah. Is there anything you can you go lower than anything lower than 200 by any chance? So 200 is like the base fee just because like I'm selling them for a friend and he wanted 200. So even if I wanted to, I got to give him 200, man. I, I really wish I could, but we're just out here selling for a friend. You know what? I'll take them. Dope, dude. Let's yeah. do it. Did you want to try them on or anything? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. What do you think? Yeah, they feel great. You like them? Yes, sir. You enjoy those, bro? Good luck with your skating ventures and uh, enjoy those shoes, man. Beat them up. Beat them up. All right, boys. Just like that, Jordan 4s were extremely hard to sell, but we got a sucker to buy them. I think you owe me an apology. I'm sorry, Tim. I, I think doubted you. I needed to be more re a real apology, bro. Like, I need you to just really. Okay, Tim, I'm really sorry I doubted you, bro. Uh, I really appreciate the money that I'm getting back in, in all these sales. So, again, I'm sorry for everything that I've said to you. Thank you. Give me a hug. Get the oh. ah! We 
turn a penny into $600 and today we're here at the brand new location, Countdown SA. We're gonna tour the store, we're gonna see if they have any steals and deals and we're gonna try to flip some sneakers today to make our $600 into $1,000. It feels like I died and went to hide these heaven, bro. Dude, the lighting in here is insane. Yo, if y'all guys remember the other store, all their shoe right here, gentlemen. And then now they're in this new location. So I asked them about their cheapest sneakers and the best deals so I could then resell it to another sneaker store. And they brought out these. Some new pairs? We're all the other pairs that we used okay. to put in the back. SB Supremes? $500? I'm gonna be honest, bro. We got like $600 to play with today. Dude, look at these shelves over here. Nike SB Jordan 4s. Bolt Air Force Ones. Mamba seats is up there. The Reimagined 3s. They get the fragments that I'm wearing right now. The Tiffany Air Force Ones right here. $1,300. I need those soon. I need them. We got the Spider-Mans. We got the Lost and Founds. Unions. Bunch of dope people. Key Masters with Pandas. Dude, honestly. Oh, no. I mean, I mean, we got $600. I right? wouldn't gamble. RJ, how much is it to play here? Five dollars. $5. That's risky. Dude, hold on, wait. If I want a pair, how much could I resell it back to you for? $1,540. Depending on the size. They also got another one. All Jordan 4. A whole Jordan 4 machine. How much are the cars going for? Uh, oh my gosh. Max. Dude, if I get those, I can not only get back the Travis Scott's, but I can buy the Tiffany's. Mm, true. Mm. All right, boys. You know I'm the key, king, a king of key masters. Let's go ahead and see. First shot. Hey, if you win, I'm not giving you both, friend. I smell the money. Come on, come on. Cause, 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 cause. Mm. We're going to try it one more time. Here we go. Cause fours. Cause fours. Mm. Bro, why am I not getting this? I need those Travis Scott's. I need those Travis Scott's. This is it right here, baby. This is it right here. We're making history. For the win, baby. For the win. For the win. Let's go. Let's go for the win. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Bro, it was right there. We gotta find another way. Massive, massive wall of sneakers they got in here. The Great Wall of Sneakers. The Great Wall of Sneakers. Inspired by the Great Wall of China. Look, those Yeezys are 5 dollars Maybe we could find like some shoes that are selling for way more on StockX and then flip them on StockX. But I doubt we're gonna be able to make like, $600 profit. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Bro! Nothing. That's the goal, bro. These are them right here, guys. This is the goal of the entire video. I need to ask you something. Since you guys are a sneaker store, right? You guys obviously all have a lot of clients, right? Is there anything that maybe I could like source for you to like flip? Like here. No key, we need the big red boots. Really? In like a nine. In a nine? I see you guys got a pair up there. The 10. Our customer is <coughs> helping source. We need a size nine. A size nine. Bro, they had a size nine in stock. What? We had a size nine. <laughs> and I think, I think they were 600 bucks. <laughs> hey. Let's go. So this is might be the sneakiest thing I've ever done in my life. But we're calling Jumbo right now. <laughs> we're gonna see if they still have the big red boots. Yo, Jumbo, I seen you posted uh, some big red boots, bro. Y'all still got them in? Uh, yeah, we got one. One left? How much y'all charge? How, how, how much y'all charging for those? They're on there. I think we the first thing at six, but we cheaper for you. Oh. Okay, bet. I'll, I'll see you in a bit, bro. I'll see you in a bit. Okay. All right, bye. All right, boys, I think that we got an incredible opportunity to make some cash this episode. So we're on our way to Stockroom right now, and we are finally downtown right now. Now, there is a problem, though, that I completely forgot about, and that is that I'm going to have to use some negotiation tactics right now at Stockroom because they're charging $600 for the big red boots, okay, plus tax. I need them for $590 without tax, please. My man, how are you, bro? Good. I'm here to cash out. I'm here to cash out. Y'all know we got the money. Y'all know we bought the bread. All right, so last week, I seen these right here. Do you mind helping me get them out of the case, please, sir? Yeah, get the you key. wanna help me, Renee? Get the key to the city. Now, as soon as they come out of the case, you immediately smell the rubber on them. Mr. Brother. Right what? Jumbo, my boy. Got them out right for me right here. Yes, sir. Let's go ahead and open it up. This is the box for the big red boots. Let's check it out. Leave a like right now for the big red boots. If you want me to buy them, subscribe. There it is. The paper and everything, baby. Woo! Mischief right here. Now, I've never seen him in person. This is an incredible display right here. You got the felt on the box. You mind if I try these on real quick, bro? Go ahead and try this one on right here. Boom! 
Man, shout out to the man Jumbo, bro. He's really the plug. Woo! Honestly, I think we should take him. I think we gotta take him. Ah! I know you're asking 600. I only have 590 with tax, though. 590 with tax? You think we can do it? That's doable. Let's get it, baby. Okay. Stockroom 210. Find the big red boots right here. I'm gonna have to get a pair for myself as well soon. 590 right here. Here you go. We are officially broke now. We got the big red boots, which I'm pretty sure I can resell these for a lot of money, especially because they're really, really rare and hard to find here in San Antonio. Let's try to make some cash. I'm hoping that they're gonna pay us a lot of money for these shoes, because we just sourced the big red boots for them. We went all in. Everything we have is on these sneakers right here. So we're gonna try to, you know, sell it to them and see how much they're willing to pay for it. So we're here to my business today. That's a big box. Right. So your business partner, RJ, said that y'all guys need these. There we go. The mischief big red boots, okay? Now, RJ said that you guys needed a pair for, you know, a client of yours in a size nine. We made that happen today. Got it? We got it, bro. We had to make it happen. What are the you chances know? of that? What were you trying to get? I need a thousand. A thousand? I need a thousand for these. Bro, we don't even sell our pairs like I know, but you guys said you guys had a client that really needed them. But who is this client that we're talking to? It's confidential. Confidential, okay. right? But how bad did they need this? But he knows our prices. He asked for that to try it on and we told him the price. And he said, I'd buy it if you have a size nine. Right. So I can text him right now that a size nine came in. But I don't know about a thousand too. It's a lot. I don't know, bro. What if we did a trick? I can't add anything. I literally can't add anything. We're gonna talk about it right here. Seriously, bro, I thought they were gonna a thousand. There's no way, bro. I don't know, man. I think we might have to just leave with the big red boots. <laughs> we'll just leave them, bro. We don't Shoot, time. Just leave it. This is so bad, dude. This series is a fail, bro. Call my guy right now because we haven't even found a size nine at all. So I'm gonna call my guy. This is probably the only one that is okay. okay. I'm gonna okay. call my guy, see the most he wants to pay, and we'll go from there. Right? Yep, let's do it. So I already heard them talking. I think that like it might be it might be a Spurs player. They have a lot of Spurs that come out here. All the jerseys and stuff. So if it's a Spurs player, he's gonna pay whatever for it. I mean, they got like multi-million dollar contracts. So hopefully right. they get there. He really wants them. Okay. But again, I need to make some money. What we do around here at Countdown is when we can't come up with the price, we like doing what's called a coin flip. I bond for 200 if I win. 200? A thousand. James, I... A thousand if you win. Because that's what you came in asking for. Oh, shoot. <laughs> so just know, if I win, I get it for 200 bucks. Let me see the coin. Make sure it's not a double-sided coin. Heads and tails. Okay. Just want to make sure there's not two heads. I'm so nervous. But shake on it. If I win, 200. If you win, a thousand. That's what you want to pay. That's what you wanted. Should we do it? Yeah. 200 my way, 1,000 your way? You want heads? Yeah. Good luck. Here we go, boys, here we go! All right, RJ, come on. Come on, let's go, hey, show me the money, baby! Oh, let's go! A deal's a deal. A deal's a deal, boys. All right, look, man. Make sure y'all come shop at Countdown, boys. Show them some love. Countdown SA. They're hooking it up today. Selling these for a thousand. Let's go. So I ended up taking the thousand dollars, going all the way to Texas Jew Exchange, purchasing the Travis Scott Olives, and then drove home to surprise my wife. And here was her reaction at the end of the series. I have an insane gift for you that you're gonna go absolutely crazy for. But before you say anything, I just wanna say I'm doing this because I love you and I'm so happy and I'm so thankful and grateful for everything that you- What are you that doing? You, everything that you've done for me and everything that you're continuing to do for me. And I love you and I love that you're my wife and I love being married to you. Do you remember a couple weeks ago when you saw those Travis Scotts? Yeah. Um, at Texas Shoe Exchange? Are these them? Open it up. You're lying. Open it up. <gasps> Tim. Before you say anything, no I just want to let you know that this week I started a challenge to myself. And I know they were expensive. I know they're $1,000, okay? But. Tim. That's why we didn't get them before. And just before we see her reaction, make sure to like the video and subscribe. And here is her reaction to getting the Travis Scott olives. Free. <gasps> Oh my gosh! You got them in my size and everything. Are you serious? It was the last pair in your size. I love you. Oh my gosh! I literally cannot believe it. Oh! 
I'm so excited. I swear, I've been wanting these so bad.